Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nen Musa. Yes, today we're gonna talk about something uh, that is really happening and it has been happening and it's still happening across the UK country or maybe other places. I don't know, but let me just focus. Who could you care? Guys, 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 there are things that you need to avoid for your life to be safe. Hmm? There are things that when you are ready, you want to come to UK. You are ready, you are ready. You have to gather everything that you need. You have to gather every kind of document. You have to do proper research. Even if the company is giving you an offer, you have to be very, very good at doing research on that company you have to sit down with every kind of date because everyone will love to go and have experience outside this just to help you in change of environment meeting new friends looking way for uh, forward for any kind of culture maybe developing in any other area you want to develop adding more experience that you would love to add in whatever you're choosing to do no one does want to stick into one place everybody always want to make a step ahead for me i love god i love god because god has given me this opportunity to come to this country because everybody wants a better change of life guys let me tell you when you have opportunity just sit down thank god first before any other thing i know it takes time but just always have to sit down talk and talk and talk with your god imagine you got that opportunity. For years and years, you've been looking for opportunity. Then one day you just wake up, then opportunity get into your door. Then you grab it. Then you say, God, this is the life I've been waiting for. God, this is the opportunity I've been waiting for. God, today I am here. Just help me go ahead with this opportunity that you've given me. You know? You start asking yourself what the requirements they need. They need this and this and this and this and this. And you arrange them properly. The ones that you can have, you arrange them properly. The one you don't have, you have to go back and start looking for them. Since you really need in them, you have this thing in your hand. You have to fly out from that country you are. My brothers and sisters, don't always take it as a joke. When you have the opportunity to go at country, when they ask you that they want all the requirements, how those requirements? There are also every kind you are going. An example, know where you are going, the company you are going to work with, know the um, sponsorship number that you've given, if at all there is a sponsorship number. If you are under skill work, also there is a procedure. Always know your HR who is going to handle you. Know the address that you're going to work for. It's very important in your applications. Mm -hmm. But everybody will be happy. You process everything. You worked for money. It's lots of love room. It's contained. It's, it's, got, it's consuming lots of resources to gather this process and make it and meet that today I have all the requirements down. These are the requirements I can afford. Sit down, read them one by one, check one by one before you make a step. Don't ever make a mistake. Whichever you cannot get, try, try your level best and get everything that you might need before interview and after interview. Because interview, they're going to ask you. They will not see. You will just say, yes, I have this and blah, and blah. Before, that's because the company is giving you an interview before any further step. The next further step will might be a visa interview. 
in that visa interview also you have the requirements that you've been asked they're there some they don't they will even ask you the interview according to uh what's what's your line of the duty that you're going to do there they will ask you very simple question that people forget they will ask you why are you going there simple why are you going there just like that just simple like that failure to give them where you're going there and don't make a mistake if you're going under something called charity don't ever mention your that's that's the real thing if you're going for charity go for charity my brothers and sisters if you're going to work for charity go and work for charity never ever go and work under finances well your visa states very well you're going to work for charity visa. that's how we fail sometimes Gather. You are in Africa, my friend. We are in Africa. Hmm? And everybody wants the best. Even if you're in Europe, one day you will love to change your country. Always just gather your documents. Always have your documents on your hands. Yes, ready. When you apply something, be ready for any kind of question and any kind of document they will ask you. When they ask you a question, be ready to answer. When they ask you a document, be ready to provide. Whichever you cannot, do your best to get it. But I'm very sure for you to go to visa estate, you have provided everything. So it's a matter of going through them. There's no point for you failing interview. No, people doesn't fail. Unless where you're going for open... Um, panel like face-to-face -face interview because of maybe you are you are a little bit shy of can make you fail you are not you're not that confidence can make you fail overconfidence can also make you fail so brothers and sisters when you got such kind of opportunity don't make it just uh, take it lightly and lose the opportunity there are people waiting for that to grab it once one slot is gone missing, there's another slot for someone. So always don't make it, lose it. So you yourself, you offered every opportunity. The time has come. Imagine the time has come now, this girl, the time came. She's at the airport. The day has now come, the day, the day, the day with the documents, everything is well. She did interview, she passed well. Now she is coming to the country. Hmm? Reaching to the airport, you take your flight, you book your flight, you are going in a flight, you are going in a flight, you are having fun, you are taking selfie, you are having dinner, you are having nice food in the airplane, you are smelling fresh, you are having uh, nice, nice clothes for your travel, you feel comfortable, you feel welcoming, then what's next? You're at the airport. You've landed safely. Now, the word safely means safely. You say hi to people. You say thank you to people. You're meeting new people from that then. Culture has just started. Culture shock. Chuck starts immediately when you're in the airplane. Boop. <laughs> it started. Hmm? Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> you people, you see my drama because I'm just happy, 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 happy about what has happened. <laughs> because I don't have time to edit. It's gonna be like that, my friend. It's gonna be that way. It's gonna be that way. It's gonna be that way. Stay focused. I love drama, I love drama, I love drama. I love drama, guys. I love drama. Hmm? I love drama. So, I said you landed safely. Culture shock. All culture shock starts from there. You know what? 
you are on a queue you are driving your bus nice bus you are on a queue waiting for queue you're going to meet some three or four gentlemen with different questions one might ask you some silly questions or good questions <laughs> i call them silly because they are simple that you can forget is silly they will ask you where are you going <laughs> And this is the time you forgot that company. <laughs> why are you coming here? This is the reason also you forget why you're coming to this country. And where is your, what's, what's your, maybe uh, the company number that you're going, you've forgotten the company number. You've forgotten the address. You've forgotten even the name of the HR. You've forgotten the person who sponsored you. You've forgotten all these, these things. Remember they're going to, the equations that turn people there. In my next video, I will do that video. Why people are turned on, why they turn off at the airport. Let me tell you girls and boys, there are very small, small questions that can make you. And these are the questions that make this girl deported back. Immediately, you landed, questions, boom. With you, you with your bag, they say no. And no, because this girl missed what address where he's going, the company and the, 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 the HR. Three things turn this back, this lady back home. Only three things. They were like, you're not serious where you're going? How are you sure you're going to the place, the place that you don't know? Meanwhile, you've provided, you, it's, it's in your document. Because you didn't have time to have them. You didn't have time to look at them. So it's very important that if you're going somewhere, have where you are going. Know where you are going. Know what you're going to do. Know who is going to sponsor you. If it is a company, know even HR that you are dealing with. Know every person that make you step to this. Hmm? You don't know whom you are going to land for interview at the airport. And that's how that lady lost this chance. He lost and she went back just like, even if you're coming for visiting. Be wise. How many hours or how many days are you going for visit? Simple question. Which date are you going back? Simple question. Whom are you going to visit? Simple question. Whom are you going to visit? Simple question. And there you forget whom you're going to visit. Otherwise, the lady is back in her country. She has to go and start afresh and be wise. I will tell you the next video whether she managed to come again or she is still stuck. But avoid deportation with all means. That's deportation on your arrival to the country. The very first day. Leave alone the deportation when you overstay here or anywhere. That's another case that I will not talk now. This is when you are coming to any country. What you have to know. Try to take your time. Do research, proper research, and make it stick here. If it doesn't stick, you're going to cry for the wasted finances you put on down. Otherwise. Otherwise. Thank you and thank you. In a light note, thank you so much. I hope this is going to help someone not to fall into that category the lady has fallen on. So, Rose.